Go! Now. They gotta go. They're in trouble. Go. <laughs> Man. No, we're never gonna eat. Who's we're the hungry. Boss here? We, 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 we don't get we're trouble. Hungry. We're hungry. We're the solution. <laughs> <laughs> the solution. <laughs> right. I bet you it takes a while. Congratulate Tony and Tina. Or Tony, Tony and Tina. Yeah. I, I, I said Tony and Tina. I know what you said. said Tina. No, I called him Tony. No, you went that way. Oh, went, oh Tony I thought oh, okay. Tony. Well, okay. Birthday to you. How old are you? That is your husband. Oh my God. When they get together. They they misbehave. Nice. When Kenny and Talmadge get together, nice. they misbehave. Hold on, you ordered that. Yeah, he ordered those. Is that how they come? Yeah. <laughs> I never seen how they came before, tell you the truth. It is morning. It is game day. Ohio State played a game. What do you think about the game, Shanti? What do I think about the game? I yeah, who did you know who they play? Uh, Penn State. Yep, yeah, they play Penn State. And they're gonna win. Yes. So guys, it is a new day. We're about to get our day started. We was up late last night hanging out with some friends that actually came to visit us. Um, and I actually came to the park just to hang out anyway, so. And then there was others that just came to the park. There are others just came to the park that we know. Yeah. Okay. So, Ashanti is getting this day started out right, because this morning she got up and she's making breakfast. I don't get this often. <laughs> breakfast this morning? I must did something right last night. I must did something right to get breakfast. Anyway, you're coming with us on this adventure. So I'm about to get my morning walk in and I have a couple people that actually want to join me on this morning walk. I was bragging last night about I got all my rings filled. So everybody want to get their rings filled this morning. If you know what I mean by rings, I'm talking about the smartwatch. I got the Galaxy 5 smartwatch, Jennifer and Brian. They have the iWatch. I guess it's called the iWatch, I don't know. But they got the iWatch. So they wanna get their walk in, they wanna get their rings filled too. There you go. All right. We got the walking stick. We gotta have our, our props. Do you wanna do like, how do you go here? It don't matter. We can do the trails if you want, it don't matter. Yeah. I'm down for it. Hey, them sunglasses anything. look cool. I gotta go get me some sunglasses, hold on. <laughs> oh my gosh. You said we were leaving like an hour ago. Yeah. So, guys, we are with Jennifer and Brian Roach. They got something called Crawling with the Roaches. I'm playing with them. <laughs> with his Roman with the Roaches. <laughs> that, that's, that's a good one, though. I like that one. <laughs> they, got a, they got an Instagram, right? Yeah. So Roaming sure. with the roaches. I call them. Yep. I call them cra crawling with the roaches, but that's, that's a that's a catchy name too, it though. Is, yeah. <laughs> so go check just, them out. Yeah, check on them out Instagram, on Instagram, please. They do a lot of posting. Yes. Watch this, guys. O H. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the big game is today with Penn State. So, we're gonna get that W. Y'all watch football? Nope. Nope. Oh, Which, look at their oh, oh, yeah, that's right. You, you guys watch the um, triathlon, right? The Did Tour I? de France and Tour de France. The Guardians, the Guardians and World Cup. World Soccer. Cup. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Tell me, look. So, guys, Jennifer was the lady who won How Well You Know the Bandits at the last glamp out. So at the next glamp out, 
she has volunteered to do a scavenger hunt. So, you know, if that means she volunteered, that means Brian. <laughs> no choice. <laughs> he had no choice. They both volunteered. <laughs> and we thank them. <laughs> oh, it's, it'll be fun. Yep. So, there will be a scavenger hunt. That's the next, next glimp out. Yep. The winner going to get a prize, of course. We don't know what it is yet. But it'll be something. It's going to be something. <laughs> Maybe it'll be my cooking apron. <laughs> yeah, that's a good prize. And, I, and I'll autograph it for you. Well, it's never been used, so. <laughs> at, least you know, at least you know it's gonna be new. new right? <laughs> Is that Tony and Tina from TNT RV? Right there? Oh. Look at him. Hey, hey. Just for a walk. We're going back up to the tower, but we're going to take the other way. Y'all going up to the tower? Yeah. Nice. Did y'all go up there last night when they scared Sherry? Yeah, we yeah. We were there. Really? Y'all was in on it? The only one that was missing was you. Too <laughs> <laughs> cold. Huh? Yeah, it was cold, we're yeah. We're getting feedback. Oh, uh, you got helmets? Y'all can talk to each other? Yeah. Those are the sign of helmets. We're going to do a video on them. That would be nice. Okay, okay. Very nice. Yep. Here, show me your shirt. So, yeah. Here, look, check out this cool shirt I found. Nice. Oh, wow, look at that. It. So I, I'm always yelling at Shanti like, hey, you're going the wrong way. You don't have to do all that. I no, 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 that's the shirt I, I like too. <laughs> that's yeah, a little later. The, we're gonna have put the TNT RV in there. <laughs> <laughs> so they're cool. They got, they got the Four Roses shirt, the TNT yep. official yeah. Four Roses nice. shirt. <laughs> got the TNT RV. Yeah, isn't that funny? I like that. That was cool. Yep. So, I want to do something called jamming on the beach for the for the glamp out. Think this would be nice. All right, so guys, we are in the area where it's electric sites only. And I had, I told a couple of people that was interested in coming to the glamp out that there's sites, but it's only electric. But I want to show you guys these electric sites. These are the electric sites. It's just electric only, and they got a scenic view. It's, so you're on a peninsula, but there's water spigots all over this park. So, all around here is all electric. But if you notice, it's nothing but water as well. Again, just because it's gorgeous. Exactly. I don't, yeah, for a couple nights you don't need full hookup. Bring your kayaks. Yeah. So these are the electric sites. You can back in, you got the water right behind you. If you want to be a part of the party, you can come to the party. If you don't, you can sit here and enjoy your sight. Like someone was here too. Yeah. yeah. Dump their ice. So put your kayak right in the water and pull it off the water in the evening. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do one of these over the summer, though. <laughs> this is nice here. Yeah. I mean look how much this is that end site. You have all the, all of that. Yes. Part of the city. Exactly. You have your own fun back here. Then you get to see everybody that act that gets a boat, mm -hmm. the rental people to get the boats and ride out. This is the uh, area that they come out to get into the main body of the lake. Mm -hmm. I never noticed old houses back there until now. <laughs> So you guys, these are our neighbors and they have been cooking their pork roast, right? Pork butt. Pork butt for pulled pork. Okay. For how many hours? 10. 10 hours. And what kind of roaster is this? It's a Boston butt. 
Nice. No. It's a pit boss. Um, okay. Oh, the pellet oh, yep. grill. Okay, yeah, pit boss. Nice. And uh, it's great. For travels. Yeah. Great for uh, camping. Is it heavy or? No. No. We lift it in and out of the bed of the truck all the time. That's where it stays. Nice. And it, you don't have to worry about. Do you use charcoal? No. Do you wood use pellet. the pellets. The wood pellets. Nice. You guys, I can smell it and it smells so good. So, good job. So, on 10 hours, and how many more hours does it have to go? It's minutes. Minutes? Yeah, we're getting yeah. ready nice. to pull it off, wrap it up, and throw it in the, grill, uh, in the cooler until we're ready to pull it and eat it. Cool. So, you put it in the cooler for what reason? We put it, it, keeps we wrap, it hot. Yeah. We wrap that because a cooler, if you put ice in it, keeps it cool. Mm -hmm. You put a towel around your food keeps it hot it's insulating it and uh keeps and then, it warm and uh hot and when you're ready to eat it's still good. piping hot and introduce yourselves to us hi i'm sean i'm leanne and you guys have been camping for how many years this is our second year with this camper yeah but we've done it when our kids were younger nice. we did it a lot and are you guys from ohio or yeah from okay. Duke Falls. Yes. nice Duke Falls area and uh Happy to be back camping. Nice. <laughs> So right now I am sitting here enjoying the campsite. Talmadge just took the trash out. That big piece of wood and all those big pieces of wood was donated to us. Thank you Atwood Brothers and uh, shout out to Ashley. A uh, group of guys back there just having a fun time. So this is their last time to camp uh, because Atwood is um, sh basically shutting down the seasonal camping um, this weekend. So we met them and uh, we've hung out with the Colonel and Shane and it's just those um, type of camping experiences uh, makes us just continuously want to camp. We also uh, met and got to visit those guys across the way there. Uh, they follow the channel. Uh, we got to hang out, well, got to talk to them um, about camping. Basically, they stated the reason why they got out there and started camping was because of us, how we encourage people and inspire people to get out there and camp. So those were wonderful words to hear. Uh, we definitely like to encourage everyone. Doesn't matter if you start off in a tent, pop up, whatever, just get out there because this is something that is just so beautiful. Um, right now it's fall. So look at the fall colors, you guys. Isn't that beautiful? And so just being able to get out there and enjoy life to the fullest. Talmadge gets to camp with his best friend, which is me. And I get to camp with him, which is him, my king, right? And um, we just have a good time. We don't stress about anything. When we're out here, we're just here to have a good time. We meet great, great people. So uh, right now, not only did we get to meet them across the way, but there's a lot of people here uh, this weekend that we know. So. We're hanging out with uh, the Roaches and also Mike and Laura. Uh, and those two guys just bought a new um, RV. They upgraded from their other one. So hopefully I'll get to show you guys those RVs because those were some really nice upgrades that they were able to do. And um, we also got to meet some Instagrammers and I'll definitely put their name in the description box below and also uh, Kenny and um, Jackie is here and Pete and Deshaun and Nancy and EV is here Evan and also uh, Chuck and Cherie from in route with Chuck and Cherie is here also with some friends. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get their names, but they're here as well. And uh, yeah, 
then we got to meet these guys right here. So he has been doing uh, the pork butt for up to 10 hours now. We don't eat pork, but it smells really, really good. So I am very interested in getting one of those smokers so that we could take it down to Florida or maybe I'll get it while in Florida because it would be really nice to maybe do some um, brisket and just put it out there. I'm gonna have to ask him about the, if he's ever cooked the brisket on there because that would be yummy. But it looks like they're getting ready to share a dinner. And again, when you're camping, you get to have potlucks, you get to meet up with multiple friends and sit down and break bread together. So I think that's what a lot of people are doing. Did you hear that in the background? So they're playing a game called Cornhole, which everyone knows that I am not good at doing. But I do plan on increasing my abilities because that's one of the games we're going to have at the Glamp Out. So as things get a little bit closer for our Glamp Out, we are going to be having more lives and we're going to be doing more updates on our Glamp Out page. So if you're not subscribed, please go over there and join. It costs you nothing, but you'll be able to at least see all of the things that we're going to be doing and people are going to be able to post pictures and we're just going to try to make sure that we're keeping you very um, informed prior to arriving. And I think that's about it. We are also going to do more lives when we're in Florida and we also plan on coming out with additional videos when we're in Florida because A, we have so many things that we have to make up for from last year. So if you have not already subscribed, please subscribe, like the videos because that helps us, especially with algorithm, but it also gives us the positive encouragement that we need from you guys. And also ring the bell, you guys. So something that I've been told by many is that sometimes they're not being informed when we go live or they're not being informed about our videos. And I think it's because that bill is not being um, pushed. So guys, we've been having so much fun today and I forgot to bring you with me. But don't worry, don't worry. I'm gonna show you the nightlife. But, RVs do at night, especially when a big group of us get together. So we about to jump in frog. We're gonna get in frog. We're gonna go get something to eat, hang out with the people we're getting something to eat from, and we're gonna come back to our RV and have a ball. As soon as my slow wife get here, we're gonna be on our way. <laughs> I know. I, know. I, know. I, know. I picked you up. Oh, my oh, my oh, oh, I picked you up. Oh, He's yeah. even picked you up. When have you had to drive to pick me up? I don't fucking do it. Here, sure. Okay. Here, do it. Oh, there we go. Let's sing it. Uh -oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Emily. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Yeah, you doing this? 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 Yeah, you there you go. Oh. That's not so bad. We'll check back in about 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you a question if you are a person that's still sleeping on the same mattress that your RV came with raise your hand really
early. So let me tell you something. If you raised your hand, and since you raised your hand, let me tell you about Brooklyn Bedding. Brooklyn Bedding has a mattress just for you. Yes, they are in the RV mattress business. And let me tell you, their mattresses are phenomenal. You can go online. And when you go online, look at all the different types that they have. They have numerous hybrid mattresses. And you can also pick what type of um, firmness you would like. So if you're wanting uh, soft, if you're wanting medium, or if you're wanting firm, hard, then you can choose that. Something else that they add onto their mattress is the cooling gel topper. And they also have cooling gel pillows to go with it. Brooklyn Bedding was rated at number one for 2022 for having the best mattress. And on top of that, they are US based. They ship anywhere in the US for free. And also they have 24 seven customer service and it's exceptional. They offer the 10 year warranty because that means they stand behind their name. So please go check out Brooklyn Bedding and look in the description box below and you will also see a code and that code will be able to give you a discount. And something else that I would like to share about Brooklyn Bedding. Brooklyn Bedding is a company that will work with you also for your home mattress needs. So that's right. They also sell home mattresses as well as RV mattresses. Thank you, Brooklyn Bedding. It did do a willy. Are you sure it did a willy? Let's see. Up a you seen it? Come on. Yeah, the first time it did a little bit. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So you guys, I'm so excited for Jennifer and Brian getting uh, a new up grade on their camper you guys this is a beautiful couples coach it's a i i'm sorry you guys it's a 1840rbx and i would say this is a beautiful couples coach look at this so we're coming on in and look at this I'm actually catching them at a bad time because they are breaking everything down, but the slide is in, okay? They're able to access their beautiful bathroom. Look at that. And they're able to access the refrigerator, pantry, and then look at this, you guys, these cutting boards turn on the light they go here which is super cool they have plenty of storage look at that and it's solid like it is 100% solid this is a fold out um, recliner set beautiful and then look at the shades again the slide is in and it gives you how, how many feet additional feet About two and a half feet Two and a half feet. Look at this, you guys. Whoa! Look at that. And that is all up underneath the bed. You have different um, abilities to. Oh, look at. Um, oh, there we go. You got drawers. Like, look at that. If you have a fur baby, this could be their room or area for them to sleep. And I mean, it's just beautiful. Then you got all that up there and there, it's deep. 
It's not something that's, you know, just a uh, small or, or narrow passageway. And then you have a closet on yeah, both sides deep. and it is deep in there too. So I would have to say congratulations, you. you guys. This is beautiful. And then you have your command center there. Awesome. So you're probably wondering what type of storage is on the outside. So I'm gonna show you just a little bit of it and it goes all the way through. Now this, if you're a fisher or fisherman, this opens up, well, what? this will pop open and it's all the way, it's for fishing poles. Wow, that is nice. We keep our big umbrella in there, so. Nice, nice. And then you have that beautiful window Look at this, you guys. Again, I'm over here probably. Oh, look, see? So neat. You guys have it all neat and everything. Well, who found the camper? I did. You did? Yep. What was one of the selling points on it? The storage under the bed. Yeah. That did it for me. Yep, it's nice. I like the, uh, air, the all the counter space in the kitchen. Yep. In the shower. Nice. Well, congratulations! I am so happy for you guys. <laughs> A lot of stuff for packing up just to go cap, uh, camping, huh? Yes, it is. But I wouldn't trade it. It's just a lot of work for you, babe. It's a lot for me. It is. But you're young. You can do it. 